What's up, guys? I just want to y'all. So ever since I was a little duck, I always wanted a godly as a toad barbarian who wielded as a weapon a giant axe. Or the elite version, rather. A glorious axe. Which, unfortunately, in Diablo 2 Resurrected, in its current iteration, are pretty damn useless, right? Like, you have the unique one. What's that thing called again? That unique glorious axe that casts Decrepify when you murder an enemy. What's that thing called again? See, it's hard to even remember these things because no one ever uses it. Executioner's Justice, I think is what it is. On paper, and aesthetically, it's a freaking toad. But yeah, just compared to the rune words, it's not that great. But I, I am going to experiment with another rune word after this that I think is actually going to be even better than Breath of the Dying, <laughs> which I'm about to make. So check this out. In my previous couple of videos, yeah, I've experimented with Breath of the Dying and say a Berserker Axe and a Colossus. Colossus? You guys are trying to help me say this. Thank you in the comments below. So it's not Lao. It's, it's Colossus. Colossus. A Colossus Blade. <laughs> is that how you say it? Let me know in the comments below. But I've made a couple of them thickies. Like, here's one, for example. Hey, yeah. 774 max damage. Let's see what this thicky has now, alright? It's an ethereal glorious axe. Vex, Hell, L, Eld, Zod, F. Oh my god! Okay, so look at the minimum damage. 390 to 774, and this one's 422 to 872. Now, what's the roll? 369, and this one's... Oh, this one's only 350. Hot damn. What's the speed on this? Shit. I was going to look it up. Uh, I can't remember what the speed is on it. The reach, however, a range adder of three. All right, look at that. See, look how awesome that looks, and you can even zoom in. Ew, yeah. Yeah! Yay! The freaking toad? Yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> I think I, uh, I'm trying to get some. <laughs> okay, I didn't have any coffee this morning, alright? Uh, in fact, I haven't had coffee in a couple weeks, so it's been kind of shitty. Just just trying to wake up, alright? Cut me some, cut me some freaking slack here. Just trying to wake up, man. But, okay, so, it kill, uh, uh <coughs> the Poison Nova and all that shit, 60 IES, 369, piercing target defense, which is quite nice, works against bosses as well. Attack rating, damage to undead, which is a great stat. Uh, a lot of undead in the chaos, for example, and we're going to be running some of that. 7 mana stolen per hit, 14 life stolen per hit, and those stats do vary. This one rolled 715, this one rolled 714. All right, but let's take a look at the sheet damage. Oh my god. So I have maxed out Whirlwind and maxed out Axe Master, all right? So 88. There we go. There's the damage. Now how many hits, like, uh, per second or whatever? I don't really know. I don't know how many hits per second this guy's capable of right now with his IAS break point where it's I don't it must not be that much because he's actually not hitting them all that frequently but he's doing uh he's doing he's doing okay right I mean if you watch like this for example I mean this is beast and a colossus blade watch how fast he hits you see those hits look at how fast he hits okay now let's go back to the sh <coughs> to the axe yeah it's just slower even with Breath of the Dying, uh, with that massive 60 IS boost that you get. Here, let's see if he can... Maybe he can at least kill Fatty. Maybe he can at least kill Fatty. Let's give it a try. There's a better op... Oh my god! Yeah, there's a better option. Alright, I'm gonna murder the Trav. I hate to say it, man. It's just not quite cutting it. Compared to what I've been testing. Um... Dual Griefs, which maybe should be obvious, it's faster. 
uh, grief and what's that thing I made? That fanaticism thing? Beast, which I do have in my offhand right now. You just hit so much faster. Uh, when you have a weapon in each hand, you're gonna hit... The way that it works now... I can't recall how long it's been this way, but... The way it works now... Is if, say, you had a weapon that you were holding with both hands that had the same IS breakpoint as each weapon that you were holding in each hand. If you had... If you're comparing it to a weapon in each hand combo. Uh, you're hitting twice as much, alright? And it makes practical sense. I mean, if he's just spinning around, he has a weapon in each hand, swinging around. They're uh, they're each at 180 or whatever. Whereas this one, you just have a big 360. But you know, every every fr you got to spin around uh, and uh, you got to do an entire 360 in order to get another hit in. You know what I mean? If you're like trying to hit one target or whatever. I mean, it makes sense. But I think that's how it works now, is you're hitting twice as frequently. Alright, let's try the Chaos Sanctuary. So I have been doing these runs without a mercenary. Uh, just to really keep things even. Yeah, it's just, I was expecting a little bit more. The hits, man. I mean, it's slow. The hits, they're freaking slow. And I think this even attacks faster than the Warpike, doesn't it? So you're gonna ex act this sort of like hit ratio, uh, hit per second ratio, with a big ass war pipe. Obviously, uh, do what you can with IS gear. Seeing how, to my understanding, as of recently now, your IS on your gear does affect whirlwind now. So that's a pretty big deal. Well, look at this. Yeah, it's just he sucks. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for supporting me as you have. I know times is a little rough right now. Times is a little rough. But some of you guys are sticking around. Uh, a good slew of you guys are sticking around. Uh, for patrons and channel members. Lost a few here and there. And <laughs> I haven't been streaming in a minute. I don't know if that's kind of a contributor maybe to the channel member thing. I don't know. But I know times is a little tough right now. So for those of you guys who are sticking around to help me out. Uh, to help these videos go on and all that crap. Appreciate it. And also have a Chilling Tales channel as well, which has been a good time. Uh, bear attacks and all that shit. So check that out. Chilling Tales by the Iceman or something. I can't remember what it's called. But it's actually been going really well. But nonetheless, appreciate you guys for supporting me as you have. Click the links in the description below if you want to become a patron or a channel member. Hit that join button if you will. And you will indeed be blessed with many wives. Thank you for your support. Yep. But, uh, yeah, yep, time just tip, time just tip, time just tip, time just tip, time just tough right now. Time little, time, that time little tough right there, that time little tough right now. Hmm, <laughs> uh, times is tough, ain't they? I think that's why I've always been a cheap motherfucker, not gonna lie. I've always been a cheap little toad. You know, this, this little fat, I don't even have any little babies, man. You know those little baby things, the little things that make noise and shit? Yeah, uh, shit their diaper and all that. I didn't have any of those, man. Cause back, way back, I knew this shit's all expensive. Um, <sighs> I mean, not to say it's never gonna be the case, but you know, I just I keep my costs down, man. Uh, I get clothes from thrift stores, bruh. All these shits from thrift stores you see on my body, except for my panties and my socks. They all thrift stores and shit. I drive my car, my cars, my cars are uh, 15 years old. 15 years old car. Hold on. It's more than 15 years. My car is 17 years old. Holy shit. My car is 17 years old, bruh. And the other one that my family drives is, and I drive sometimes as well, is 18 years old. Yep. All I'm saying is times is tough, but I'm a cheap motherfucker. So I, uh, you know, I prepare for that bullshit. I know you can't trust it, man. You can't trust a damn thing, can you? What can you trust? Death and taxes or some shit? Isn't that what it is? That's what you can trust? But, yep, uh, times is tough. And I know, I know a lot of you guys support the channel a lot. You guys, you guys put in the work, you know? I appreciate it, and, and a lot of you guys, you're still able to help uh, to throw a little ice boy, a little tippy, 
It'll change here and there. So I really appreciate that. Blessing to you. And I will... I will... Uh, I will try to, to gain a... A connection with the Creator. Alright? And I will ask the Creator to bless your finances, bro. Uh, those of you who are supporting me. And my newcomers. But anyway, <laughs> I don't even need to talk about all that bullshit this long. But I mean, it's kind of an interesting topic, isn't it? The, uh... Not the, not the being a patron or a channel member, but the, uh... The times is tough. And how to deal. Yep! Yep, made a couple mistakes, though. Made a couple mistakes in my time. Could have been worse. Yeah, could have been a lot worse. So here's his gear. Breath of Dying. Laying of Hands. Raven Frost. String of Ears. And Mantled Heal for some life and mana leech. For times when I'm not wearing a Breath of the Dying. Goal Riders. High Lords. Ariettes with an Um. And Fortitude. So, not a lot of Crushing Blow here. Only the 15% from Gore Riders. It's a pretty poor boss killer, I would think. But it's still doable. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Alright, he did it. Ooh, Bone Snap. So, not bad. But, uh,. Yeah, it could have been a lot better. So I think in my next video, I'm going to use a death. And I think it'll clear this chaos and kill the boss much faster. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, <coughs> if you guys will like the video, hit the thumbs up button. And I will talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think of this Breath of the Dying thing. And I am going to test uh, a different weapon that I think is going to be better than Breath of the Dying for War 1. That I've experimented with already some, and it has been. But yeah. I want to make it in a glorious act. I mean, this sucks. This is kind of ass. Uh, this is very disappointing. Because, like, an axe, I feel like, is the embodiment of a barbarian. Look at this. Look how awesome he looks with this big-ass axe. But unfortunately, there's just no place for it in this game when it comes to the endgame stuff. There's no place for it for you to be wielding this big-ass axe. And why isn't there? I mean, he looks awesome with this big ass axe, you know? Like, they gotta up this stuff. They gotta make that executioner's justice. They gotta make anything viable, just like all the other 99% of useless items in this game. And maybe, uh, maybe make it somehow a little bit more competitive with, like, the, uh, the BOTD Warpike and things like that. Because unfortunately, it's just quite useless, man. But there is a redeeming factor here. And that is uh, the fact that death, the rune word, cannot be made in a, uh, what do you call it? It cannot be made in a polearm or a spear. So you're kind of stuck with making Breath of the Dying in a war pike. Which I think there's something better than Breath of the Dying for Whirlwind in terms of rune words. And that is death. Now, you can't make that in a spear or a polearm, but you can't over make it an axe and a sword. Now, what axe or sword, or in terms of axes and swords, which one has the greatest potential in terms of range adder? Well, that would be the glorious axe. It has a range adder of three, as opposed to the Colossus Blade that has a range adder of two. All right, so you're kind of getting the edge a little bit here with the axe, I think. And uh, to my understanding, you get a slightly higher uh, average damage. Now, in terms of your attack frames, I don't know. I'm going to look into this for my next video. So stay tuned for that. But I think I'm going to have better results with death. For sure. Over this. Now, the attack speed might be a little slower. That's something I'm going to have to test out. Because death doesn't have any added IS, does it? it just ha This has the 60 IS added. So that's massive. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it compares, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. Peace be with you.